Tonight, only on two, it was a wild night for police as they responded to multiple calls of street racing throughout the city. And now we're learning a woman died in all that chaos. CBS 2 Chardet Gray is live in the West Loop at Morgan and Washington, where tire marks now cover that intersection. Chardet. Well, Dana, I want you to take a look right behind me. You can clearly see where street drifters were doing donuts at intersections like this. The chaos sped, spread from West Loop to Chinatown to Burbank, where the Chicago Fire Department says a woman was hit by a car and died. This is a tragedy waiting to happen. That tragedy unfortunately coming true. Chicago police say a 27-year-old man and a 19-year-old woman were speeding, heading southbound on Cicero near 65th Street. The man changed lanes, hitting the other driver and a 40-year-old woman who was in the crosswalk. She was taken to Christ Hospital, where she died. Chicago Police Sergeant told us the two cars were coming from 50th and Cicero, where drivers were street drifting and the two vehicles were drag racing. When we see more and more of these incidents happening, we got to talk about the root causes. The chaos spilled into Alderman Byron Sigcho Lopez's district in Chinatown near Lumber and Cermak. He voted for a recent ordinance that says any person who participates in illegal street racing or drifting on any Chicago street, highway or public way could be fined anywhere from five to $10,000 and cars involved can be impounded. This ordinance has been in effect since last month. And we see these incidents not in stopping. They're, they haven't stopped. If anything, they're getting worse and worse. CPD tells us six squad cars were damaged as they tried to break up the crowd in Chinatown. Several people gathering, blocking intersections, waking up several neighbors in West Loop like Joanne Coughlin. It was very frightening, for sure. And, um, you know, I, I've always felt pretty safe in this neighborhood until lately. Coughlin recorded this video from her balcony of people drag racing in her neighborhood. I'm afraid it's going to happen again, and I'm afraid it's going to escalate and get worse. CPD says the 27 year old driver faces a citation for obstructed front windshield and pedestrian in the roadway. But the sergeant tells us that he could also face a manslaughter charge. Reporting live in the West Loop, Charday Gray, CBS 2 News. Charday, thank you.